Hey, search analysis is the most important skill in blogging. You could write the best post with the best original research, but if you chose a post with too much competition, you will never rank. In this detailed video, I'll explain my A to Z process of how I find low competition keywords that rank number one on Google. The paid tool I will be using is called Keyword Chef. Please take a look at my detailed review there. I also have a detailed webinar of how to find topics using free tools that you can check there or at the end of the video. My name is London Nomad and it's my mission in life to make you financially free. The last video didn't get any likes. So if you want to support the channel, please like to show you appreciate it. So we're on the tool Keyword Chef and I highly recommend everyone sign up using the link in the description because this is going to save you invaluable time that you can better spend using blog articles. So I'm going to go to the one I already searched, which is called PlayStation 4 controller that I searched 24, 25 minutes ago. The good thing about this tool is you can search using questions, you can search via best topics, you can search via comparisons. It's very detailed. So can you return a Nintendo Switch a PS4 controller without the box? I've already wrote this down. So what you want to do is you want to have a notes app on the right that's just there for you to write down your ideation. You're not necessarily gonna write these posts, but you're just putting it down so you have a mark of the post you will write. So boom, I already wrote this down, yeah? With Project 64, what the hell is that? Bro, I don't even know. Can you use WD-40 on a PlayStation 4 controller? Let's take a look at this in a bit more detail. So no matter what, using these paid tools, so as you can see with this paid tool, there's four PAA, which is people also ask questions. No matter what, I'm not gonna take the tool as face value, even though it's one of the best tools I'm gonna search. And as you can see, everything is easy to write. So immediately, I'm gonna jot down the, these questions. So can you use WD-40 on PS4 controller? And just to save some time, I'm just gonna copy and paste, slap these people also ask questions in my notes. You can immediately see, like, if you watch my other free search analysis video, it took a reasonably long amount of time for me to find a question I could write like that. Here, it took one second. I found the article instantaneously. How are you supposed to hold a PlayStation 4 controller? I never even would have, this is the beautiful thing about this tool, I never even would have thought in my wildest dreams that someone would be searching how to hold a PlayStation 4 controller. But as you can see, self-evidently, people are. What's the correct way? What is the correct way? What is the correct way to hold them? How do you hold a DualShock 4? How do I hold a controller for best aim? You know what I'm saying? This is all very extremely useful, useful things. So how are you supposed to hold a PS4 controller? Again, do PS4 controller have a built-in mic? And what you want to see is you want to see questions where they're asking the same question again which highlights that there's a decent amount of traffic so for example do ps4 controller have a built-in mic that's the question does the ps4 controller have a mic does ps4 controller have mic do ps4 controllers have mic as you can see these are all the same questions rephrased differently but that doesn't necessarily mean that you don't want to write these rephrase h3s because sometimes they're going to have a different answer target so for example i'm going to slap it into the serps So as you can see, Quora is the first result. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say, do PS4 controller have mics? Which is the same question, but just rephrased differently. But as you can see, oh no, it's the same question. They have a built-in, yeah. So what this means is you can just write one query and you'll be able to answer all these questions. But as you can see, Game Facts, Amazon, this is more useful than even a tool that AREFs, which is $99 a month, because you immediately get these forum results. You don't have to remember the specific forums to search and to customize your search query. Immediately you get these forum results. So, you know, this is, it makes it so easy. I could outsource this to a VA. The VA can just, any number that has five, they can be like, ah, boom, I'm gonna write this article. So again, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna slap this down and I'm gonna write in my notes, do PS4 controller have built-in mic? And then, how do I turn my mic on PS4 controller? 
can you talk through your can you talk through your PS4 controller? So why do I lose sound when I plug in my PS4 controller? Again, you're not exactly going to write all these questions, but what it is, is it's giving you an ideation phase of the questions you're going to write. You can see here, no matter what, forums, 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 forums. Look, I always recommend looking at the SERPs just in case, because you're going to see different, you know, preguntas, relacionales, related questions. But as you can see here, why does my PS4 controller, all of this is in this tool. So I don't even have to look at the service, but I'm still going to. So why do I lose sound when I plug in my PS4 controller? Does plugging in PS4 controller reduce input lag? Again, I'm just gonna write this stuff down. But this just makes search analysis so much more easier because, you know, I'm not using a tool like Keyword Sheeter and the specific auto suggests like queries like why are, how are, can you, how to, you don't do this. All I need to write is write how to PS4 controller and it's going to slap me with all this information that I can use. You can see, look, look how down this goes. This goes down, down. Why does PS4 so hard? Look at the 16 related questions. Does PS4 controller stop charging well full? Again, look, Reddit, Game Facts, the gaming man, my own website. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> Again, it's, it just makes life so much easier. Why won't my PS4 controllers charge? Hmm. Again, you don't want to use all these questions also ask, but you can definitely use a considerable amount of them. Again, you can see here the amount of different rephrase H2s. Why is my PS4 controller not charging? Why PS4 controller not charging? Can't get PS4 controller to charge. Does PS4 controller light up when charging? That's a related question. Can't get PS4 controller to charge. What to do is PS4 controller won't charge. Uh, so hard to charge. How long can you how long can you use a fully charged PS4 controller? Yeah, that's not necessarily the same question. So what I'm going to do is because it's not exactly the same question, I'm just going to slap it in here. But again, as I mentioned many, many times, if you find a crack in the SERPs, it means that the people related asked questions are likely going to be also cracks. So as you can see, how long can you use a fully charged controller? Nothing's really on point. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put this in this, give it a bit of space because it's illustrating that it's a different topic. How long can you play with fully charged controller? Again, everything's Quora, everything is stuff that you could uh, probably beat. Is it bad to charge? 
is it bad to charge the PS4 controller all the time? <laughs> Again, no matter if you're using these free tools, pay tools or not, you want to have a look and see if anything comes up, you know. Why are PS4 controllers so bad? Again, you have to be very careful. You always have to think of the inverted pyramid, yeah? So, why are PS4 controllers so bad? Why are PS4 controllers so fragile? This is more like if if assuming the base is PS4 controller in the context we're talking about, or the base will be PS4. As we go more narrow, they're more narrow questions. So can the PS4 controller be charged with any micro USB cable? I probably won't write that, but then you have to remember PS4 is a big, big niche. So because it's 21 related questions, it means that there's a lot of data that Google has which kind of highlights that it's worth to write an article, article on it. So again, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna search the base query and I'm gonna slap it on Google. Again, Reddit, GameFAQs. Oh shoot. What? USB do I need for a PS4 controller? But as you can see, you can see so many different, I usually wouldn't write that, but because there's so many different related questions, 21, it highlights that enough people are searching for this, for Google to create different H2s. Which charger do you need for a PS4 controller? Do PS4 controllers come with charger? That's a good one. Uh, all micro USB charging cables the same. And what I'm gonna do, if I'm not completely on it, I'm gonna write a question mark, which highlights that I'm not 100% sure if this H2 is related to this question. Why do some charges not charge PS4 controller? I know this one is relevant. So again, I'm gonna slap it. All right, yeah. Get rid of that thing. Can a PS4 controller be completely dead? How to, what I'm gonna do. But as you can see here, because this was a four in the difficulty, now it's the SERPs are a little bit more difficult. So for example, how do you arrive a dead PS4 controller? You see Business Insider. I'm never, ever, 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 ever gonna compete with a huge website like that. PS4 storage, so now it's a blog article a blogger and i've seen this website before so i know it has a reasonable amount of authority now what you want to do is in order to check if a website is how much authority it has in comparison to you you want to go on mods domain checker which allows you a couple searches every day for free in order to ascertain the difficulty of this domain so boom i'm analyze this domain this is going to give you an idea you can compare this number to your own domain 
to ascertain whether or not you're likely to beat it and this is based on how many links this domain has how much authority google determines it to have so for example you can see domain authority 33 you can see the top pages links and you can take a look at this down in the description again if you're liking if you're finding value in this video please like because it helps it spread to more people again i want to go through the SERPs. and the reason why can a controller be pretty dead how do you revive hmm. this one this is why it's important to go through the SERPs because it's looking more difficult than the other thing again i'm going to look at the related question see like why won't my ps4 controller charge i know that that is a reasonably big question and if i search this in the SERPs again business insider fix it you know these are all reasonably reasonably strong look at android central yeah which is a reasonably strong website and they're ranking you know page four so i'm not gonna rank that's why you always 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 go for the SERPs always look because then it's gonna help you that's the thing whether or not it's truly an easy result can water break a playstation 4 controller Again, this is an easier search. If again, if you find your own website, so obviously I've ranked for this year, and you know, I don't know how much, obviously I'm ranking for some adjacent search terms, but if you find your own website, then obviously I don't have to write this. What I can do is I can do this, and I can slap it on here, and I can, what I can do is I can write down these related keywords and put a note to myself to put this in the article that's already ranking. Because the more questions, related questions your article will respond to based on the main keyword, the more authoritative Google is going to take it. So I can take these questions yeah, and even this one, what to do if your PS4 controller gets wet, and I can add it to this query. So if you look at my, if you look at what I wrote, how durable, how long does it take? You can see that the PS4 controller waterproof is missing. Can a water break a PS4 controller? Can a PS4 controller survive water? What to do if your PS4 controller gets wet? So all of these questions, I'm going to have a little note and just write, uh, edit, put in article is PS4 controller waterproof. Because there's no point me writing a separate article when I've already answered a question similar. And this, you know, who knows if I write, if I change these, uh, these questions, then I might rank number one for these search queries. Can you change PS4 controller light color? Now I know this one's gonna be decent, decent. So again, yeah. Now, without a doubt, I'm gonna write this. So boom. Okay. But it's always useful to see if it creates a different result. <sighs> so annoying when you lose it. Why is PS4 controller light yellow? Because I'm pretty sure I was ranking number one. I'm not even ranking. What? Bomber clap, bro.
And what you're going to do is when there's questions, especially in tech niches, obviously I found the question, can you change PS4 controller light color? This means that there's going to be the same question, can you change PS5 controller light? So I'm just going to write that down. And it's done. Because I've known for past experience that questions revolving the light and the PS4 controller, you know, sometimes have 2,000, 2,000 is hit. So, you know, you know from your past experience with Google Analytics that you can ascertain, okay, boom, this is worth it to write. What is orange light? I swear to God I was ranking number one for some of these search queries. <sighs> Look at that, man. Sad, man. Had to fix. Muy malo, muy malo. Please don't follow me. Please don't follow me. Please don't follow me. Can you change sensitivity? Mm. Well, of course you can, depending on the game. Again, as you can see, there's different questions. The same question copied again. How do I change sensitivity on my PS4 controller? How to test PS4 controller? What is PS4 controller? Okay. Can you adjust the PS4 controller? Of a phone charger. Mm. All right. What well, we're gonna do now is we're gonna try and find more affiliate-heavy questions. So boom, we're gonna go and discover. And let me think here. Yeah. I'm gonna write. PS5 accessories wild card so again you can questions best compare how to let me write best ps5 accessories okay it's always important to do these things car all i want to do is streamline the process for me and you as you can see here there's only four credits best third party ps5 accessories best ps5 accessories to buy let's just have a look see if anything comes up Huh, okay, this is kind of useless. Best PS5 accessories. Hmm. I think questions is better, man. PS5 accessories. See how long it takes. So then, this is a lot better. Questions will always be better than wildcard in my opinion. As you can see, can you use PS5 accessories on PS4? When do PS5 accessories come out? When are PS5 accessories restocking? Blah, 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 blah. Let's have a look. Again, you want to always sort it by get all SERPs just to make it easier for yourself. It's going to take some time. But even if it doesn't, even if you're only on the free plan, which I don't recommend, you still have access to these keywords like when are PS5 accessories restocking? Do PS5 accessories work on PlayStation 4? I know this is going to have competition, I'm pretty sure, but I'm still going to write it. Again, look. 
Polygon, The Verge, IGN, you know what I'm saying? You never want to try and defeat. Do PS5 pads work on? But still, obviously I'm going to learn more about this tool as the months go by, but it's still very useful to try and find these niche, niche questions in a part more competitive niche. So again, I can click it. But as you can see here, because this is a more consumer intent keyword, i.e. the SERPs are zero and free. So why are PS4 accessories shipping early? Again, I'm not going to write this because this is a question that's not evergreen. It's not going to have longevity. People are not going to always search why are PS5 accessories shipping early? Are all PS5 accessories sold separately? Hmm. Hmm. Again, look, do you have to buy PS5 accessories separately? PS2 on overnight. Woof. That's going to be a niche question. Yes. <sighs> again, kind of difficult. But then again, I'm still going to look. When, when, kind of, yeah, you could ask you, I, I wasted a bit of the SERPs. Would a piece of accessories, how much, where can I buy, how much does it on you know, PS4 headphones sold separately? Again, you could look, don't, you know, you can still focus on the SERPs, but again, are PS4 headphones worth it? Mm. PS5 headset, good. And one, one secret question here, secret insight. If the result includes the word Reddit, so is PS5 headset good Reddit? Even though it's a form result, you're never gonna win because the search is about, is about Reddit. It's not about your blog article. Well, no more headphones, so I could write. Do no more head, do no more headphones work on PS5? Mm, but again, if I see Polygon, which is extremely powerful, powerful website, and it's you know barely ranking first page, I'm not gonna go for it simply because, you know, as you can see, you even understand the search intent, yeah. So do no more headphones work on PS5? So as you can see, the answer, Bluetooth headsets and headphones are not compatible, blah, PlayStation 5, blah, blah, blah. But because it's an audio guide website, it's obviously not too detailed. It's just not worth to compete with it. You know, it's a lot more, it's a lot more easier to just find the easier SERPs. So as you can see how much, how much will it cost? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna volve it back to a PS4 controller. But again, even though this free tool is fantastic and I've already demonstrated how useful it is, you don't wanna rely on the average because, you know, can you return a PS4 controller without the box? I don't know if it's gonna have a thousand page views a month, more than likely not, but it definitely doesn't have zero. I can tell you that for a fact. Can you use normal headphones and PS4 controller? Really? Oh, yeah. But again, because I've seen, look, this is another Project 24 member, Audio Mav. Again, I mentioned, if you see someone from Project 24, you always want to take a look and try and, you know, ascertain what they're writing for you. 
And I'm, I'm actually really liking the look at the, of their website. I don't know how you can make Akabado look like this. Again, I'm not going to write it simply because if, you know, they wrote it to a reasonable standard, which they have, and they're still ranking rather low. I mean, do I really want to try and rank for it? Because if you look at this one, how to use any headphones with PS4, they have, you know, a screenshot in detail. Now, this is a very, if you are a tech YouTuber, it's very useful to write your articles like this. Simple. Screenshot, screenshot, screenshot of the photo. This is extremely useful for someone can immediately just boom, read this article and understand what they came for. If your article cannot be better than the other person's, don't write it. Because, you know, if you're not bringing anything unique to the table, such as original research, and you can find out how to do original research if you look at my video on my channel, you're not adding much to the reader. So I'm not going to write that simply because it already has competition for it. As you can see, as the SERPs are getting more difficult, you know, it's a lot more difficult. So at this point, maybe I could just, what to do if I lost, maybe I could just simply, you know, go and discover and then search Xbox One controllers. Not wildcard. Xbox controller. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna write Xbox, not Xbox One controller, because I wanna en encompass, you know, both the Series S and X controller and the Xbox One. So as you can see here, oops, shit. I don't know if I already spent those credits. Questions. Xbox controller what well, xbox works with ipad you can see here use disconnect by what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna write by because you know it's more than likely not gonna be wired update drift games get keywords get all serps And if you have any questions about search analysis and you know any doodles or difficulties you have, please write down and read write down the comments and then tell me. Because this channel is about helping each other out and making sure we make the most amount of money possible and get that passive income. So boom. Okay, still it's still running. But you you can see like all these articles I found, look, how many articles did I find in about an hour? Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho, nueve. Found about 14 articles I'll probably write. 14 articles in an hour is very, very useful because, you know, my friend from Project 24, he is charging $5 a keyword to do the search analysis. So you have to think, you're only paying $250 for 50,000 credits. You can see I've only used 5,000 credits and I've found numerous articles for my blog. Numerous. You know, this is probably enough keyword research for at least 10 websites at least many many different articles so as you can see boom already i get six can an xbox controller get a virus this immediately i don't really think it's gonna be too fruitful for it but as you can see here yeah, immediately because it's six on the serps there's nothing and remember yeah if you're in a less competitive niche you might have stuff that's 10 difficulty. Gaming, despite not paying too well, is a reasonably competitive niche, so it's always been difficult for me to find topics, but as you can see here, there's tons and tons of uh, different articles I can write. Free PAA. Can a gaming point, can switches get viruses? Can an iPhone get a virus? Hmm. Oh, fuck. Hmm. But then, you have to think, yeah. Okay, can the Xbox controller get a virus? If I do write this, which I probably won't, it will be max 400 words. Because 
the people also ask questions, the relevant questions, can gaming consoles get, can Switches get viruses? It's not big enough for me to write an entire topic on, so I'll write it down. But it doesn't necessarily mean that I'm going to use it. Can you play DCS with Xbox control? I don't even know what DCS is. Oh, Digital Combat Simulator. Hmm. So, any of these questions that I can immediately look and think, okay, it's going to be 500 words, it's still worth the rank. It's still worth it to write because it's going to be so easy. You, you can, whenever you give your writers articles to write, you want to, this is what I've changed in this from Passive Income Geek's uh, advice. You want to give a range. So I'm going to immediately tell you how I'm going to showcase it, yeah? So can you play DCS with Xbox controller? How do you connect a Xbox controller to DCS? Can you use a gamepad for DCS? Do you need a controller for DCS? So this is gonna be a group query post, so like, DCS and controllers, the complete guide. And this is my H1, yeah? And all of these are H2s. So just, you know, just assume I put H2 in every single one. I can immediately think it's gonna be, because they're all self-explanatory questions, can you play DCS with Xbox controller? I'm more than likely can because it's a Steam game. So I can immediately say something between I don't know, 600 to 850 words, something like that. So now when my writer gets this, they're going to have a range to write their articles between 600 and 850 words. So they're not going to key, they're not going to stuff the article with bullcrap that isn't exactly relevant, they're just like fluff. I don't, don't pay your writers fluff. If there's stuff that you delete in the editing because it's bullshit, like for example, however, in what I mentioned earlier, that offers nothing to the reader. It was useless, useful, useless, useless. So obviously I'm not gonna pay them for words I'm not gonna use. Why are all Xbox controllers so uncomfortable? Ooh, Xbox controller can play Xbox controller on a plane. Can you return Xbox controller without a box? Again, look, see, it's exactly the same question as the PS4 one. Can you return an Xbox controller without box? Can you return opened Xbox controller? Can you return a broken Xbox controller to Walmart? What is Walmart's return policy on Xbox controllers? You know, I've had a decent amount of success with questions that are like, can you return a used Nintendo Switch to Walmart? Because as soon as you find these questions, they are easily applicable to different search queries. So, you know, I know that this question, can you return an Xbox controller? I could write in the near future, can you return a PS4, PS5 controller to Walmart? Can you return a Switch to Walmart? Can you return a Steam Deck to Walmart? Whatever. But questions like how much does Xbox controller weigh? That's it's so niche, it's, it's, it's not even worth it. Why do Xbox controller batteries die so fast? Looks like a Project 24 website, yep. Entertainment then. Again, anytime you find someone from Project 24 or another co competitor, you want to write down, write down the website. Because it gives you an idea, a complete downloadable guide to home theater products. How to choose the right gaming headset. Is a gaming, does it, is a gaming desk better make a difference? Do you need a gaming PC for gaming? Can a TV be used? Gaming headphones. Is a gaming room worth it? Do I need a mouse pad? Anything that gives you an idea of what you can write. You're not going to copy these articles, but you're definitely going to write them. So for example, yeah, as I said, let's see how 
how much authority my man has here moz domain checker i haven't seen this website before but i guess he was a project 24 member you know if you want to see the review of the course that changed my life watch it on my channel big man or big guy most likely guy or girl again you have exceeded your search limit so what you can do is you can see in the link in the description i can just use a vpn and this is useful for any free tools like answer the public this thing if all i do is just refresh because obviously my ip address is different so you only have you know several searches a day using moz so now look i can immediately see domain authority is 11. so now i'm pretty sure my one's more than that so then i can compare it with my own website so that means using google's markers to ascertain authority so again my domain authority is a little bit better than his 133 yeah so what does that mean that means that i'm gonna write it because i have more authority than him the more likely i'm gonna rank Oop, shit. how long should batteries last still i'm gonna write that How, how to make the batteries last longer. Mm -hmm. But remember, as I mentioned in my free search analysis video, all of these are not, I'm not gonna write all of them. What I'm gonna do is when I, I'm going to, in my production line, yeah, so this is stuff I'm actually going to write. I'm going to take a look at these queries and ascertain, okay, in the priority, which one is going to have the most search traffic, which one is the most worth it to write. They again, check the search. Remember, the more down the number goes, the more difficult it is. Again, any questions that are similar to questions you're gonna write in the future, you should group them together because it just gives more authority to Google. It makes a more accurate resource. So for example, I'm gonna write the question, how long does the Xbox One last? So because in my search analysis, I found how long do Xbox controllers last? It means that obviously there's no point writing that in a separate question when I can group them together to give me more authority on Google. But then if you think how long do Xbox controllers batteries last, maybe. Batteries last, how long do Xbox controller rechargeable batteries last before breaking? Yeah, if you have a VPN, Google's always going to ask you these bullshit things. Again, seeing it. I probably think this is a Project 24 member as well. I was right. Entertainment then. I think I've already wrote down this guy's things. If you found value in the video, please like because it helps spread to more people and subscribe to your boy, The London Nomad. Watch my keyword research detail review there. And if you want to see a walkthrough guide on how to write a blog post from A to Z, check my video out. My name's The London Nomad and it's my mission in life to make you financially free. Bye-bye.